Hey guys, how you doing YouTube? This is Mark from Vintage Gadget and today I'm going to show you a Vintage Techniques component system that I've been working on uh, that I've been piecing together little by little and uh, quite pleased with the results that I've gotten out of the system. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first uh, component that you see there is uh, my uh, turntable and this one is the uh, model number SLQ300. I've already done a video on this turntable so you can check check it out if you want. It's a really nice turntable. But let's go ahead and uh, show you the rest of the components. Uh, starting with the uh, the receiver. I'll go ahead and uh, show it to you guys. I'll turn it on. And uh, this receiver is, uh, the model number is the SA500. Um, I think that Techniques made this receivers in 1978 or 1979 I'm not uh, exactly sure but I'll tell you what I was really happy and pleased to pick up this receiver in such good condition I mean there's hardly a scratch on it the only thing that was wrong with it was that the volume knob had a little bit of static in there and all I did was spray some contact cleaner and it just fixed it right away sounds great um, oh yeah and the other thing that was wrong with it was that the dial lights for the tuner were uh, out. I think it uses three small light bulbs and I went ahead and replaced those and it turned out great. Now it's just like it's almost like new. Uh, and the sound out of this thing is incredible. Uh, it's not a vacuum tube uh, tuner uh, but uh, I'll tell you the sound that uh, comes out of it is very warm and um, again I'm quite pleased with the uh, my find here. Very well let's continue on to the uh, next component which is the CD player you see right below the receiver and this is one of Techniques I believe it's uh, one of the first ones that they made back in the 80's I believe if I'm correct this one was made in back in then in 1985 and this particular model number is the uh, SLP2 um, again the sound that comes out of this thing is incredible uh, it's very warm. I know it's crazy to say that out of a CD player, right? But there's just something about the, the quality of the sound that this CD player produces that is uh, quite welcoming and I really, really enjoy. Um, another thing that I can say about this uh, CD player is that it's built like a like a tank. It's a, I mean, it's really well made. And uh, as soon as you insert a CD in there and you press the, uh, the close button on the tray there, the this CD just reads the contents of the CD in, I mean, like a fraction of a second, like a second. It's really, really fast. Well, I may be exaggerating, not a fraction of a second, but like two or three seconds, you're done. Boom, it loads the uh, list of, of tracks. And it just uh, does what it does really well. So if you can find one in decent condition, I'd highly recommend you, you, you get one. I think this unit used to come with a remote control. Um, when I got this, it didn't have the remote control, but it's cool. I don't really mind that since I really like to just have the hands-on feel and uh, press all the controls myself. I kind of enjoy that. Okay, so that's the uh, Techniques SLP2 CD player. The next item that you see right below that is uh, an equalizer. And I know that nowadays equalizers aren't used very much. But uh, nevertheless, I wanted to get one just to get that... Um, that old school feel to my uh, stereo system and uh, <laughs> this uh, unit here is the techniques uh, the model number is SH8015 and it's a uh, five band per side uh, equalizer and um, currently it's hooked up to the cassette deck which I'll show next but uh, what it does is it just allows you to uh, boost any frequencies that you would like for example if you want more bass in your recordings or while you're playing a, a tape or record uh, you can adjust the uh, the band for the bass. Any of the five bands, you can adjust them to your liking, or to the you know to the acoustics of your room where you where you have your your stereo system. So it's a really neat piece, and you can choose to turn the equalizer on and off while you're playing or recording, which is a cool feature. Uh, and lastly, I have uh, the cassette deck and that particular cassette deck that you see there is the Techniques M270X it's a, a direct drive uh, cassette deck which means it doesn't use belts and for those of you that have uh, vintage cassette decks 
you know that those belts uh, they wear out and you need to replace them every so often and some cassette decks are really difficult to get those belts replaced um, so I'm ha I'm happy that I picked up this cassette deck in really good condition and uh, it's again it's built like a tank keep in mind these components are probably over 30 years old and uh, man they look new <laughs> and they play really good they sound great so yeah yeah I'm a Technics fanboy I admit it but that's okay um, you know whatever you like that's uh, you know if you're into vintage gear like I am I'm just uh, so happy to finally get all these uh, pieces together and uh, yeah go ahead and uh, leave me any questions on this uh, gear if you have any the thing that I can say about the cassette deck also is that um, it has uh, all the transport controls are just push button it's all electronic and it's really crisp and responsive this cassette deck has uh, a DBX noise reduction along with regular uh, Dolby noise reduction and uh, it plays normal ferrous chromium um, chrome cassettes and also metal metal cassettes uh, I know the ferrous chromium those aren't really popular I haven't seen any of those for a long time but I do uh, I do have the normal and uh, chromium and metal tapes I have a few of those laying around uh, and lastly what I'd like to show is something that I've been wanting for quite a while and I was able to find one locally here because uh, man, to have one of these things shipped is actually a very expensive since they are very very heavy but I'll show you what that that item is I'll go ahead and take the camera off the tripod here and I'll show it to you so just bear with me okay cool so the item that you see there yeah it's a it's an old school tape uh, tape deck it's a reel to reel uh, unit and uh, this particular unit is a, a TAC model number A-4010SL and as you can see man this thing is in really nice condition it even has the uh, acrylic dust cover and um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like I'll remove the dust cover here set it to the side and here's the ta the reel to reel uh, it's all in original condition everything works on it I mean even the wood paneling on this thing is uh, in good condition it even came with the uh, original rubber uh, stoppers that hold the reels and tape I, I mean uh, hold the reels in place it's kind of cool unit I'll go ahead and turn it on for you so you can see what that looks like there it is I'll go ahead and turn the zoom on for you guys. There it is, the TAC A4010SL. And this thing just has a really unique tone to it when you uh, play music on it. It just uh, it's it gives you a really nice feel, uh, warm uh, sound quality to it. Uh, in the next, in another video, I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate that for you guys. But for now, I just wanted to show you the different pieces that I did. Uh, was able to get together for my um, component system cool so there's the uh, the reel to reel there's the cassette deck which has uh, Madonna in there <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool tape it's the uh, like a virgin cassette I think Madonna has been in the news lately so I I'll go ahead and play that for you guys a little bit since I don't want to get in trouble with cop copywriting or anything like that but there's the SH uh, 8015 equalizer and I think that one also came out around 1982 if I'm correct now the the reel to reel I'm not really sure when those were made but uh, uh, they were probably made in 1970 or 1972 if anybody wants to correct me on that uh, feel free to leave a comment below cool alright so yeah the tape deck is uh, really nice let you guys get a close up of that I believe this tape deck has two motors in there for its uh, cap stand and rewind and play functions
there's the uh, SLP2 compact CD player it's pretty cool it's got like a prism light in there and when you load your CD you can actually see the CD spinning in the unit pretty neat feature and lastly the um, here's the receiver Technics SA500 got your power button your headphones output jack power display selector range selector speaker main speakers remote speakers basically basically it's like an A and B speaker selector have your bass knob treble um, filter boost uh, balance loudness FM tuning mode you record mode for both tape 1 and tape 2 your selector knob for AM FM phono and auxiliary it's the big volume knob there and finally your tuning knob so there you go there's the system right there I'll go ahead and uh, put on a little up uh, play the uh, cassette deck I know you won't be able to hear the full quality of it but anyways there let, let me go ahead and turn it on oops I think I turned it off okay so let's go ahead and push play Well, anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video again if you have any questions or comments on this uh, components uh, techniques components go ahead and uh, leave the comments if you want to or if you have any questions I'll do my best to answer them all right all right this is mark from vintage gadget signing out and until next time take care bye